the rating of Jaws was a real cliffhanger. Richard Hefner, the chairman of the rating board of the Motion Picture Association of America that tells parents what to expect on movies. It was essential from the standpoint of MCA Universal, financiers and distributors, that Jaws get a PG rating, meaning parental guidance indicated, but it meant that children could come and see it. Whatever the ratings board said to Scheinberg and Wasserman, they told Dick and David, who came to me as my producers, and said, Stephen, in order to get not an R rating, but a PG rating, you need to cut some frames from the leg coming down. And I was happy to do it because they didn't ask me to cut the leg out. They just asked me not to let the leg hit, bounce, gush blood, settle, because I was really sort of studying it. So I cut a, about a foot and a half to two feet off that shot. You just see the leg come into frame. That's when you see it severed, and it just starts to hit the silt bed and cut away. And finally, a PG was awarded. Our argument was very simple with Hefner and his board. Nobody impersonates a shark, unlike films of violence. No one is going to go get up and eat somebody. Nobody's going to drag someone down in the water. What happens in nature is part of childhood's experience. Anyone who's read Grimm's fairy tales, Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood is one of the scariest stories ever written. Uh, you know, and uh, children are regularly terrified. After the film was distributed, I don't recall any letters from children about children being having bad dreams. I had many about adults having bad dreams and never going by the water again. And so the rating, to the great relief of MCA Universal, was, in my estimation, rightly given parental guidance, maybe too intense for some children, it was on the ads. Of course, all that did was bring them in.